internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad here with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I've got a new friend on the line out from the East Coast, so she was up early, <laughs> and her name is Leslie Nolan, yes? That's me. I used to know a Dan Nolan, and I was just thinking, it's interesting, I was just thinking about him the other day, I think his name was Dan, but he had this hair that was just a full head of straight hair, and it was this reddish, blackish, auburn, it was really, oh, nice. really cool head of hair, he had these those Irish jeans. Dark. Uh, uh, <laughs> is that what it was? <laughs> uh -huh. that, he was a leprechaun. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you saw some of the other videos I do, but uh, what I do is I just ask, who are you? What do you do? Where do you do it? When do you do it? And then I ask my favorite question, the big why question. So we'll start with, who are you? You married? You got kids? So my name is Leslie Nolan. I live here in the East Coast. I'm about uh, three miles from the beach in a town called Wall Township. So the beach towns that are located near me would be Belmar and Spring Lake. Um, I live here with my husband and my adopted son. And I work for my home studios. And I have a beautiful view of um, a horse farm. It's my neighbor's horse farm from my office studio. And it's a, it's a wonderful place to live and work. Isn't it nice to work from home and, or, or a coffee shop or whatever these days at the internet? Well, I prefer I to so be cool. at home. I really do love it. Sure. But the ability yes. to not be tethered to an office chair is, is a blessing. Well, sometimes I am tethered to this chair. Okay. I am tethered here. I keep coming back here. And you're tethered somewhere. Exactly. But I'd rather it be in my own environment. <laughs> yeah, I try and use this thing as much as I can. But sometimes when you don't got internet, then you... But anyways, so what is it specifically that you, that you do? Or not specifically, but in general, what is it you do? What do I do? So I work with creative entrepreneurs who've lost their mojo and inspirational vision. Ah. And I help them reclaim their power so they can find the courage to create their great work. See, it's interesting you bring that up because I, I was sharing with you before we started recording the video of how I lost focus of what I'm doing. I started promoting coaches and consultants and my background is more in the events industry. And when I'm doing that, I know it and I'm on fire. So it's someone, That's right. but, but I don't see that sometimes when you're, when you're not conscious of it, you need someone to wake you up and go, you know, you're always talking about events. How come you're not doing event stuff? And, and my yeah, wife does that. Sometimes it's coming back to that vision, Brad. What happens is, especially when we're entrepreneurial, um, yeah. you know, we might have this vision. It gets us on fire. We work that vision for a while. And sometimes it comes to a dead end and we don't know it. And or there might be some kind of personal life event that can happen yeah. that can get us right off track or, you know, we just kind of lose our vision or our mojo. And part of that, I think, is a growing process. It's very natural. Um, and being entrepreneurial, I've been self-employed since I graduated from Pratt. And now I think it's about, I have to do the math, 32 years Okay, so well, you go through ebbs and flows of how your business changes and also how you feel and how you focus and what inspires you. And it changes as you change. And it's great if you can get your business to shift and change as you're changing as a person. Right. I think that's natural, right? Exactly. You, in fact, my wife talks about how your business has a personality also, and it's you got to be in alignment with it. And I lost a little bit of that. I started getting into some. Uh, affiliate programs and some of them out there are a little bit scammy and weird and I felt myself starting going that way and that's where I lost my mojo and had to get back in line so yes it's nice to have someone like you or like my wife that'll, that'll tell you to get back in line yes and <laughs> finding that that vision has to be really come from you internally it can't come from me it can't come from your affiliates it yeah. has to be really in line with yourself and sometimes you just need to take a little journey to focus on that and go internally and get quiet to mm -hmm. figure that out. And that's what I do. And so I feel very blessed to be able to do that. And um, I'm now using all of my marketing skills and graphics design and 
for myself instead of for someone else. Okay. And then I can also help my clients if they want to go down that route. Once they figure out what they want to do, if they need more assistance, I can then assist them. So uh, one of my it through an amazing process. It's through a painting process. Okay. So this was the painting that for me inspired me wow. to uh, really change things up. That's what I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you where and the how. So let's talk a little bit about how you do it. And then I want to ask you the where part. And the where part is, do you just have an office here or do you do retreats or events and things? But share sure. more about how that, that process, that painting process thing works. That's interesting. So um, for me, to tell you a little of my story, I had gone through a series of changes. It started with um, getting married and being in a very happy place. And I got married September 2008. And then the market crashed by October. Everything just fell apart. And all my clients are small business owners. So it first started with my work. I got married, so that was a very big change for me later in life. And then my work changed. All the small business owners, they didn't know what to do. The first thing they do is they pull back their advertising, right? Right. Bad move. And then Bad from move. there, we try to start a family. And I thought I could be like my grandmother and have eight children. But, you know, that, that wasn't happening for me at 46. So then we started a process to adopt a little boy, and gratefully we did. It took us six years. And during that time, too, my father got ill and he passed. And for me, painting was always a place that I could go to when things got tough. Mm -hmm. um, and there was lots of drama with my siblings around my father's passing, and I needed that time. So I, I made this painting, and I wrote a novella. And as they say, it was what exactly what the doctor ordered. What's a novella? A novella is like a short novel. Okay. <laughs> Sounds so good. So it went, some frequently we write while we paint. So okay. it's a nice way of merging both sides of your brain to get your creative juices flowing and to inspire you. See, that's an interesting element because I know that what's happening with all the, the whole global consciousness, if you will, is shifting over to more of the female energy. And this work can be very, I mean, my work has focused on um, feminine energy. And I would love to talk to you about quantum stuff another day. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. Because the work is very, very, very deep. And you're working with consciousness. So you could work with your own images, but tap into this place of consciousness, which is really limitless. And it can be deeply inspirational. And when you make a painting like this, it continues to inspire. So when you look right. at it, it, continues to download information. If you've gotten that right connection, continues and continues to inspire you. Got it. Well, let's talk a little bit about your, you, did you say you have some events coming up? I, I, I do. Love... I have an event coming up. So I am now having to market for myself. And I just came up with this great idea that I'd like to share with you. Okay. Um, so I have done, you know, small workshops here and events. Um, and something that I've just, uh, I don't know where the inspiration came from, but it's kind of like a hub meetup. That's what I'll call it. Mm -hmm. So I've, uh, entitled it superpower Sundays and it's a meet and discover the healing work of five practices. So what I've done is I've reached out to mainly either people I've trained with who have trained with me. Um, and they are interested. They do Qigong, shamanism, theta healing, shadow coaching, and I will do intuitive painting. So it's about finding new energy strategies to reclaim your power and ignite your vision in your life and work while empowering your world. Cool. cool. So each person, it's very, I'm very excited about this because I could see this happening continuously, you know, maybe sure. doing two or three throughout the year. And I realize how many people I know who do this work. So it'll be a, a free event. Each uh, person that I've reached out to um, will market to their tribe. I've created a flyer. I've created a constant contact blast that they can now use and send to their people. So because I have those skill sets, it helps them a little bit. Okay. So they can send out the constant contact blast. I've sent them an e-file so they can create a flyer. If they're having any other events or if they teach or work anywhere else outside of their studio. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a nice way to bring us all together because I've talked about many of these people to my clients. But when you meet someone face to face, it's a different experience, Brad. You know, you exactly. get to hear them talk. 
And so we'll all do like a presentation of who, what, where, when, and a short experiential. It will be for three hours. And we're having this March 26th for anybody who's on, uh, in New Jersey, New York area. Okay. We do have somebody coming from New York City to come. Um, and it's RSVP is a must because it's my my home stu studio. And though we do have a large amount of space. Got it. My goal is to have 60 max, but between 40 to 60, it's a nice party. And um, and then from there, it's there's some uh, cross-advertising that we can do as a group. Um, each person will offer um, some kind of discount for the evening, as well as an opportunity to get on their email lists and um, and possibly an opportunity to discuss more if people want to know more information. Okay. So I'm excited about that. That's going to happen well, this month. Listening to it, it's very interesting because it's got some elements that are very similar to an event that I'm doing. So after this is recorded, it is done, I'd like to chat with you a little bit more. i got some ideas for you if you're open to that. Oh, thank you. I would love to hear more. Because yeah, uh, the whole concept of the hub and going out. Yes. With the, yeah. So I, got some I, really like, I really like it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so one other thing I do for my students is once they do a painting like this, and they're usually quite large, about 30 by 40, people usually work with me for about three months. Some people have worked with me up to nine months for larger paintings and another process. At the end, once I have four to five students works, I hold a small um, art show for them here in my home. Cool. And they have an opportunity then to bring all their friends and family and clients because they've been sharing, they've gotten into this work very deeply and they're babbling about it. And people either want to see the work or they want to understand what this work is about. So that's also very exciting because it gives them an opportunity to discuss uh, their process. They get to showcase their work. And then for many people and for artists, it's not just making the work. The second step for many is then sharing that work with the witnessing community. Sure. So then they get to share it with the witnessing community. And so that's a nice event. And then they, I ask them always to talk about their process, but inevitably they always start talking about what it's like to work with me. So it's such a, a very powerful um, experience for everyone. And they're in my home. They get to see my work. They get to see what other people have created and realize they can do it for themselves too. Okay. Well, before I ask my, my favorite question, uh, why don't you share how to get a hold of you and things of that sort. And then um, what happens is I take this and I beam it up to the internet and propagate it out to social media. And because you're over on the East coast, I would uh, like hashtag it and stuff with New Jersey and stuff like that. So that people okay. that end up seeing it over in your okay. part of the, your neck of the woods. So how okay. do we get a hold of you? They can reach me at Leslie at, a Leslie Nolan design.com and Brad, what I'm also offering everyone through the month of March, if they listen to your show is a free, get your mojo back breakthrough session. And okay. they can schedule that by emailing me or they can schedule it directly by going to mojo dot acuity scheduling.com. And acuity is a funny little word, and that's spelled A C U I T Y. Got it. Scheduling.com. I will try and get those from you so that I can put them in the video also. So I here's, appreciate that. Here's my favorite question. That's the big why question. And then I'm going to take this and beam it up to the universe. Why sure. are you doing this as opposed to why aren't you like a school teacher or why aren't you doing like uh, yoga or teaching yoga? Or why are you doing what you're doing? What's. What's the big well, you know, it's, a, it's very interesting. I think this is an amalgamation of things that have started for me starting as a young child. I've always been an artist. It's always been a way for me to communicate and express myself and inspire myself throughout my life. And in some ways, I am a teacher. And I do also do workshops with yoga instructors and hope to do an event out in Sedona sometime next year. Let me know. But what I can tell you is that this is very is a very deep process. It can be uh, very personal. It can be very spiritual. And it's, it includes all the things that interest me. It includes creativity, spirituality, psychology, and the quantum. And you can't find this at like a normal university. I went to sure. Pratt, I've taken every class. <laughs> and as I continue to do this work, and as I'm in the laboratory with my students, so I feel like I'm in a laboratory, 
I'm seeing my work continue to develop and it's so incredibly exciting. And what I could tell you, Brad, is that painting moves energy. Mm -hmm. So if you're stuck and you start to paint, it opens this floodgate of information and they don't teach this at regular school. Of course not. So that's why I do what I do. And okay. um, I love it. And I love inspiring other people. All righty. Well, well, I appreciate you taking the time. If you want to stick on there, I got some ideas that I want to share with you. I would and, love to um, hear. And then I'm going to beam this out to the universe and social media and all that kind of stuff. And if you and do the same. You. That's thank a... you so much for the invitation. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Peace. Be well. Fun time.